Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Google Classroom to collect pictures and organize them. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm making this video for a friend of mine who teaches phys ed and was asking about pictures of students doing phys ed activities and how he could organize them. So let's take a look at how to do this. I'm in my demo class here. Let's go to classwork and create an assignment. I'm gonna create this assignment and it's going to be called phys ed photo of the day, or maybe phys ed photo of the week. I'll put in some instructions and say, add a picture of yourself doing a phys ed activity. Now, if I want to, I could you know, attach a Google Drive file or a Google document to explain in more detail what I'm looking for in this assignment. But for this example, I'm not going to do that. Now over here, I'll go and set my due date as normal. Right? Maybe I'll set it for Friday. And if you wanted to create a rubric, you could, or add it to your topics, you certainly could as well. Let's assign this. And this is for all my students. So now I've assigned it. And let's take a look at the student side of this. So the student, here's the student signed in to Mr. Burns' demo class. When he refreshes this, he's going to see, ah, Mr. Burns has posted a new assignment. You see it here in the stream, as well as under classwork. So let's view the assignment. And we see, add a picture of yourself doing a phys ed activity. All right, well, I'm going to do that activity. So let's hit add or create. And the student can now link to an image that they might have posted online already somewhere else, like maybe on Instagram. They can upload from Google Drive or upload directly from their device. So let's attach a file. And in this case, I'm going to attach this image. and hit the upload button. Now, once that's uploaded, we're going to turn this in. And once it's turned in, we'll see, oh, we still have the option to unsubmit because Mr. Byrne hasn't graded it yet. Now, as the teacher, so this is back on my teacher screen, if I click on my phys ed photo of the day, I'll see it's been turned in. Let's view the assignment. And we can see there it is. There's Mason's picture. We can click on it. We can give it a grade if we want to. Write a little comment. Great photo. Hit post. And return that to the student. All right, so now they've been able to submit their picture and I've been able to look at it and give them a grade and return it with a comment. But there's one more thing I wanna show you. And that is if I go back to my classwork, I can click on class drive folder and I'll have a new folder in my Google Drive that says phys ed photo of the day. And I can open that up and I can look at the pictures in there, even if I've already returned the assignment to students with a grade and comment. I can still look at it there. And if I have 25 students or 100 students doing this activity, all of those photographs will appear here in this phys ed photo of the day folder. Now, one quick little tip about this, if you're trying to keep track of it, just go over to your last modified by and you'll see which students have done this. It's hard to tell who's done what by looking at the file name, particularly with images. Over here, you'll see last modified by and you'll be able to see that student's name over on the right hand side. So that's how you can give a picture assignment and collect photographs from students in Google Classroom. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.